all of us as creatives that we can continue to protect that innocence and that that love and yeah there is a creating i love this song i don't remember what's next by the way i i, <laughs> I really don't like i don't i haven't listened to this in so long <laughs> okay hold on i had it turned down But I'm just trying to make sure It's not that I don't believe you yeah. I just can't get hurt anymore So I Man, so many good memories. That's so crazy. I'm so happy I don't listen to my music. It's, this is enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> this is enjoyable. I miss these. I miss those, man. Dang. Wow. Man. I mean, honestly, like the chord this is This is what I noticed about just your music, just from, from this debut album all the way to the piano album and your new single, I can't wait, you know, mm. it's like you have this way of combining lyrics in, to the chords that just feels like just a warm blanket. Mm. Like it's like that's it's, it's there's just warmth to it. Like it's just it just makes you feel all fuzzy and, you know, it's just like, mm. ah, this feels so good. <laughs> It's, just, man, it's the man. right combination of chords to sentiments that people want to hear, you know? Yeah, um, I think... You know, I, I need to know, like, the, I need to know with those chord changes, it was like all these different chords that we're experiencing, and it's like, yeah, like, that that fits. Even when you yeah. don't have the language, for those who don't have the theory language, that's sure. what they're feeling. Because I know? don't, right? I don't have it. I don't, I didn't learn music, right? It was all ear, it was all church. It was all my dad praying over my hands. Yes. So, so, and, and that's New Orleans to me too. Like, you know, I mean, as much as we have sight readers, the, the way it was started here was pure heart, right? It's just like, these notes are what I'm saying. But I think also the way I write songs, I, I've never written, I, there's one in my life out of hundreds of songs 
where I've ever written uh, words first. I've never written lyrics first. Um, I've always sat at the piano or a guitar and and ha- played chords and melody first. And mm-hmm. I usually, literally, uh, you know, not even getting deep, but like I literally let those melodies tell me what what they want me to say. Like it's mm-hmm. it's like it's like what is it what what is it saying? Like sing it to me, you know. Um, which is another reason why I think I can enjoy my own music sometimes is because um, I feel like it, it, a lot of it wasn't me. Like, it's just me listening, just being a vessel, you know? And, um, but I, I think that's why sometimes those, it's the right lyric on the right chord and stuff is because I, you got to listen to what it wants you to yeah. say, not trying to force what you want to say on it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh my goodness, that just feels so good. Okay, let's 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 just go let's just go right into do you know what song is next? I don't. I don't remember the order at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh my Back to the streets, yo. Streets, streets. Always a duet. Always a duet. <laughs> yes. What would you say if I asked you to come with me? Would you forget the details and all the technicality? Well, cover your eyes, take my hand and follow me. We can fly away. Don't you worry. Nisha Figueroa uh, from New York, from Brooklyn, BK stand up. Um, it's so funny. I, I did that, and, and, and Anisha's one of my best friends. But I flew her from New York to Atlanta to record that, and like you know, trying to be professional, right? And had all her stuff set up. That's literally the first take. That's her first take. All of it, ad libs, everything. And I was like. Uh, like I had a flight set. I don't know when she was flying back, either that night or the next day. But yeah. I was like, um, I was like, you want to just do one again? <laughs> just <laughs> there was, it was really no reason though. There was no reason to do it. That's the one. That was the first one. Thanks. Anisha is um, amazing. One of the best. Yes. Um, you you yeah. heard her on on Kirk Franklin's like ooh na 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 ooh na na. That stuff, yeah. I'm saying, uh, I can't remember the name of the song right now, but no, she's you've heard her voice. Kirk has her heavy in the mixes on heavy all on all mix. those records, heavy um, but, in the mix. Well, one of the best, one of the best, man. And she, 
she nailed that. I was so we just had to sit. I think I had to go get her some food or something. It was like we just had to kill time because she killed that so quick. <laughs> she yeah, but as far as like pitch, I've never heard her sing a bad note. Like she's one mm. of them where it just it just goes right there. Um, uh-huh. She would hate this, but in Life of Mikey, I, that movie I used to love that movie with Michael J. Fox. She's the black girl at the end. <laughs> On Broadway. So she she had been doing it forever. Uh, wow. That's so my she's, dog. She's, she's, Imagine she's, me. That's it. Imagine me by Kirk Franklin. That's it. Wow. Wow. You've done some amazing duets. Her, mm-hmm. Jasmine Sullivan, JoJo, this new Just one. Just not Shalea with- yet, huh? I, I know. I know. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. That's next, though. That's next. That's next. <laughs> You don't have to say it because I'll say it. I'll say it. But we got to do a joint where we could. I mean, it's Roberta Donnie, right? So we. I'm gonna sit at the Rhodes. <laughs> you sit at the piano, and we're gonna do a joint. We're gonna do a joint. Yes. Uh, don't be playing with my emotions. No, nah, okay? that's it. That's just Pun how intended. it has to be done. Pun intended. Don't be playing with my emotions. <laughs> Word. Nice. <laughs> nice. I just happen to be sitting in front of my roads because I, I love it. I <laughs> but love um, it. but yeah, I, I've always I think being a song uh, a songwriter and a producer first. Um, I I fought for years and years to not be the lead singer. I never. It was never my biggest dream initially was to be somebody's music director. And, and 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 go on tour and be and play keys like that's that was the extent of it for me and um i started writing these songs and they didn't fit anybody else and i started demoing them and it's like all right i just kind of fell into it um but i think the reason i do those i mean there's there there's a duet every album i think all literally all of them uh yeah. from like like anisha to tweet like you said to jasmine to jojo to yabba uh, like yes, all of them, right? Yeah, but um, yes, but, yes. but um, and I get jealous every time. Every time I see a new one, I'm just like, my bad, my bad, my bad, lady, my bad. One my bad. day, one day you'll choose me. Like one day, <laughs> yeah. But that's one day you'll come along. Oh, man, I love. <laughs> you, you know you don't have to audition, Shalea. You you already in there. You not nah, just Shalea. But no, that's me always wanting to hear another voice as a producer. It's like I want to hear somebody else sing these words, you know, and say this. So, um, Rhodes and piano. We we're gonna do it, right? Okay, you no, guys heard it out. here. You guys heard yeah. it here. So I want you guys to bug him <laughs> every day on his social media. Give him no rest. <laughs> <laughs> What about that duet, though? They're going to be in there. Until he right yeah. by our duet. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> my Shea Babes will do that. So big Shea Babes, don't do that. <laughs> right. They they do go hard. I can shout out to you. To your my Shea Babes go so hard for me. I love my play. Shea Babes, my yellow hearts, my babies. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but no. When the time, like you said, everything in its right it's time. time. Oh, everything absolutely. in its right time. And so when the time is till then, I will be loving it and be jealous at the same time. (laughs) Okay. Thank you. (laughs) What about this one? Yeah. Much more of your time um okay. 
So you but I, I do I do want I do want to shout out Keon Harrell who who played every horn on that album. We uh Wow. We were we were such D'Angelo <laughs> fans, you know, and uh Royal Hargrove, uh rest in peace, like on on uh on uh, Black Messiah in my head, uh, Voodoo, uh, all those trumpet things, those cr those crazy stacks of of horns, and uh, Keon was the guy, and that was my guy. We were on tour with Erica together, and he did that. Um, so shout out, shout out to Keon Harold for sure. Mm. Every every uh, horn on the album, yeah, <laughs> incredible, Inc yeah. And you know what? Again, like you were saying, like this album was scrappy. Like you were you were pulling, like oh, you yeah. were, but you made it happened to the point yeah. where to me it it it's right up there with everything else and i just wow. don't think that can be said for um for every artist you know you can you can hear the development you know so not, and i and i can still hear that too you know i can definitely hear you honing it in but to me these songs just have such a special um uniqueness of their own as well in 15 years ago you know, wow. I, didn't, I didn't realize this was the 15th year. I think we did, we did something for the 10 and I, I, you know, the world is flipped upside down and I think I just, I just kind of missed that. You know, I knew it was the, the um 10th year of my album Walk Alone and we were going to do something for that. But I totally missed the, um I totally missed the, yeah. 15 the is emotion. special. 15 yeah, is good. Sure. 15, that's a nice round number. 15 is, Absolutely. is definitely something to celebrate, you know? Yeah, man. I want to talk been about, um, as we're kind of wrapping it up, I wanted to um, talk about just your journey. We talked about how we had a very similar path of starting in church and um, you and I have had conversations about this. Uh, you wrote a book about this saying, why can't I sing about love? Um, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. What was that conversation like with your parents? Because, you know, I just, you know, they, your dad, I saw your, um, your post to him for his, was it his birthday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just and, turned 70 on, on the 30th, yeah. And I just, I just felt the love, the admiration um, so there's, there's a two part thing I want to ask, um, in regards to this, but, but what was that conversation? Like, were you nervous to say, okay, I don't want to do a gospel record. Yeah, that, that was, it probably was a combination. So it was gradual. So, cause because like I told you, I wasn't an artist first. So the, the first conversations were, I want to write songs that aren't gospel. I want to produce yeah. songs that aren't gospel. And they they were both when I say they are my family, um, they were both my biggest challengers, but then became my biggest supporters. So yes. they prepared me for the world before the world, right? It's like all of that delayed, like people coming at me. I, I had done that already with my family for years and years. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, but my dad specifically. Um, just wanted to make sure that I, it wasn't rebellion, I think, you know, because that it's so cliche for the pastor's kid to want to like, yeah, I want to do R&B, but usually it's like, freak me, but, you know, so they're like, they're like, what do you mean? What do you mean you want to do? And, and, and there, there wasn't really a blueprint for what, what I ended up doing as an artist, too. Like, there wasn't somebody who was R&B, but was, well, besides Steve, you know, who wasn't like, all the way R and B, you know, like in in, in content, you know. Um, so there wasn't really somebody I could point to to say like I'm gonna be like them. It was just all new, you know. Yes. And um, yes. so, but there was a specific conversation where I knew it because I tried to do uh, something with my oldest sister Jasmine. We did a duet. We was gonna be like the young BB and CC, and I was hey. I was I, I was writing and singing, and I I was trying to be as contemporary as possible, like. We gonna ride this line, and I knew that I was just trying to please people at that point, and I wasn't necessarily being myself, right? And so I remember being at my uh, my brother's house, uh, my brother in law uh, at the time, Elvin, and, and I called my dad and crying, like, mm -hmm. man, all right, I'm gonna, I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Like, I, mm -hmm. I gotta be all the way myself, and it was almost like he knew. That's what I. That's why that post. It's so real. My father was just always there. He was just always there. And um, he told me, like, right then, like, son, don't worry about, 
Don't worry about it. Like, you're going to be different from me. Like, you don't need to be me. And um, mm. Mm. Like, it freed me so crazy um, and empowered me to not care about anybody else. Like, it was, it was almost like because my dad said it was okay and that he understood me. I was like Superman at that point. I'm like, I don't, I don't care what anybody else says, you know? Yes. And, um, but that, that was an actual conversation where I was just like, dad, I, I just, I want to, I want to say more. I, I don't just want to talk about God. That's not my life. I don't talk about, you don't say, yo man, nice weather today. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. You know, pray. like, no, yeah, let's talk about the weather. So why yes. when I write a song about the weather, you know, and, and I brought it home for him, like, well, mom, where were you listening to? You know, and he was like, definitely wasn't listening to Amazing Grace when I was dating your mother. You know, it's like Isley brother. So, so I'm like, what is that? What is that where we can, or like, have a relationship where you write a song about it? If it, it, you know, like yes. just like yes. that, just like that. It's like no, just like you can that. do it. But like once you, that's why can I talk about love on Freestyle Nation before that solo album? And the reason I changed it to why can I sing about love for the book is because no talking about love wasn't the problem. It was never mm. the problem. It's only when it becomes a song that it becomes wrong. And I'm like, no, you like it, it's just not making it's not making sense for me anymore. And um and that was it. I was on my path, and I did have to dodge a lot of bullets. Uh, but it was all worth it to me um to to uh to go in front of a lot of that stuff and just be who I was you know yes. and just really I, you know it's humanity I, I just you know in church in politics um I think that's mm. why Obama resonated I, in the music industry like these, I'm, I'm just looking for human it's like this plus this uh, you know faith comes by hearing whether it's wrong or right, right? So like, mm. so like you saying the wrong thing for years and years. Mm. Uh, and I don't care how long. Is, is that, is that, does that make sense? You know, like, uh, that's just, um, it, I, I had been wrong for years and years, you know, mm. I, 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 I do that, mm. you know, to say my my son Ooh. is actually right this time, you know, mm. and mm. um, so that 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 um challenge, but he was also my um, he just wanted me to make sure if I, I was out there right, I was gonna know why I was doing it, right. and, and 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 know that it was purpose and not just me rebelling, right. and, um. Here we are, man. Here we are. Yeah. That, Shout that, out to my I, pop, I, I, I don't know why, for some reason, I'm just getting a little teary on that because to um, father of both go on, you know, mm -hmm. that, that uh, you know, allowing themselves to evolve. And to me, that is, uh, uh, to me, shows to me what a true spiritual person is versus a religious person who 100%. is stuck in what is what is passed down religious says it always has to be this way a spiritual person yeah. says it's a set of rules I'm, yeah yes yeah i'm willing to, to to see beyond and open open up and to be able to say i was wrong in this you know yeah. um i had a, a similar experience with my parents um as well and they they both are now my number one big supporters but i will say i i know it's hard like, like i i led uh praise and worship in my church and you know, i was the minister of music one of my churches you know as a musician mm -hmm. as we know we have many churches you know yes, that, of course. that we kind of call home so i know that it's sometimes even with the things I choose to wear. Um, the um, I saw them trying to get on you, after, especially after you was the render. They was <laughs> after I was <laughs> you like, wait, hold on, like, hold on thank, now, hold on for the compliment that I played her so well. But let's get, let's not get it twisted. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, no, I've I felt it. I've 
relax. Like that was that was a movie. Uh, but there go ahead, my bad. And I will continue to do. You know, you may see me in scenes that will be very difficult to see your praise leader in these scenes. Sure. <laughs> those same movies, those same you know people in the church will listen to the, that music, but because they know you. Uh huh because they actually know you. It's like, okay, well, he's not so serious. Yeah, I listen to this person. I listen to Luther. I listen to this. I listen to that or whatever. But PJ can't do it because mm -hmm. I know him. Mm -hmm. There's some weird thing that happens with that. It's as true. Well. It's true. Well, that's the... He's the preacher. He's the pastor's son. So he right. can't do that. And it's like, what? But do you hear you're allowed to be a human? And and there are these, especially for something that I didn't necessarily uh, than than you had growing up. I'm 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 figuring out life. People um, <laughs> trying to figure out life, and and we've yeah. got to be vulnerable with each other. And we we've, we've got to we've got to. I mean, great. I mean, grace, we talk about it so much in church, but don't do it in real life. Like, don't, mm, don't, mm, don't give mm. grace, you know, and understand. You know, as a Christian, um, you know, how is it that you sing secular music? I, I came to the, the understanding and realization that when God put an anointing on my life, on my gift, that anointing doesn't turn on and off depending on what day it is, what song it is, whatever it is. That's People biblical. People are going to feel that anointing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes that, without that's, that's what I came yeah. to. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. That's what I came to. And so um, right. that's just that's just what, you know. So this, this has been, wow. This has been switch. Um, turn the tables just a bit. Oh, oh um, God. Look at those. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have to make sure you check out this show. It happens every Wednesday. That's right. On, huh? No, I said that's right. I'm yes, sorry. every Wednesday, <laughs> Culture Trivia. It's just an amazing, amazing show, which she is the host of. Everybody's on that show. I don't know how I was even in that number, but I was. I you was a star. You a star, Shalaya. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, I want to switch it. I want to switch it on you. You said you mm. love Stevie Wonder so much. Oh, so let's just goodness. see. Let's just see how much you 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 love Stevie. It's just gonna be three questions I have for you. All right, I don't know lyrics. I don't even know my own sometimes. So, all right, but go ahead. Go Neither ahead. do I. Oh, okay, I won't do that. Okay, and I'm so sorry. It's not multiple choice because that is a little easier. So. Uh, all right. Okay. So I I made it easy for you, but you're gonna make it harder for me. <laughs> Is this because well, I didn't have a tiebreaker? If a duet for okay. us, then we can make <laughs> okay. it easy. Okay. Copy that. I'll get some multiple choice after a duet. All right, gotcha. All right, okay. <laughs> what song did Stevie Wonder win an Oscar for? Wow. Oh. Um, was it uh was it in Jungle for? Um, what, what, what song Okay, let's just think of some songs. A. Uh, no, okay. That's not it. Right. right. Okay. B, I just called to say I love you. Or mm. C, um, isn't she lovely? Um, I would say, um, I don't remember what. Or if that was in a movie. Just call to say. <laughs> is that wrong? That is correct. That's right. <laughs> no New Year's Day. Look, I got more confident after I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate. 
See, I don't know words, even though that, that's one of the hits. But you know the chords, so that's okay. I do, I do. Okay, okay. <clears throat> this one, I can't really, um, it's, it's, it's either you know it or you don't kind of thing, okay? Okay, all right. In, okay, in 1968, Stevie did an instrumental album. What did he yeah, call it? Secret Life of Plants. No. No? Not Secret Life of Plants, an instrumental album that wasn't Secret Life. I really don't know this. I don't In think. 1968. What? I got to go listen to it right now. I don't, I don't, uh, instrumental, no singing. No singing. It was instrumental. It was um, put out on Motown. I don't know it. I don't know it. It was called Yvette's Red Now. Wow. And I can't it was, wait to hear it. And it was his, his name spelled backwards. Oh, Prince Stevie, did the same thing, huh? Stevie wow. Wonder, Yvette's Red Now. So look, this is how I, I'm inspired by Stevie, but I didn't, you know, I had somebody called, I had Luop Not Rom that, in the MySpace days, and I put out songs as Luop Not Rom, which is my name backwards. And but <laughs> I, I, I never knew Steve, I never knew he did that. He did it first, 1968. Yeah. He did it first. Nice, nice. Okay. I, I, I okay. gotta go listen. This one, this one is like so. Wait, really... it wasn't under his name though. You're saying? Um, you know what? Was I the do, artist I think, TV? I think it was under Yvette's Red Now. Okay. All right. All yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. This this one is like super hard. I should have I shouldn't have even done this one, but I just love this song. Okay. Which album has the song? Think of me as your soldier. Think of me as your soldier. See, but you at least. Is it coming from? Yeah. So, 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 nobody really know why, right? I so, uh, you know, that first uh, tour was this guy Gino Igo. Who was the music director who got me on Erica Badu's tour? Is a I me mean, my first cassette of Stevie of songs that uh, of a song I didn't know. I, I I had never heard of I'd Never Dream You Lived in Summer. I'm an 80s baby, right? So I knew the hits. I knew like yeah. Big Stevie, but I hadn't heard his voice like that. And I listened to it one million times, right? But what I did, what, so so there was a Circuit City by my house. I don't think Circuit City even exists anymore. And so when I heard that song, I went with my allowance every week to get a Stevie CD. And I went in chronological order. So so the earliest year I could find, that's where I started. And every week I would just go and get them. So like um, music of my mind, where I'm coming from, um, uh, uh, first film, <laughs> you know, the finale. Uh, yes. First, that Talk album, uh, yeah, um, and um, yeah, those albums really uh, uh, um, like affected me and inspired me more than any of the later stuff. Um, mm. Or like even like, you know, his bigger albums weren't yes. the ones that I shed it. I shed it those where I'm coming from out, you know, that's where I was. So um, I, I listened to that stuff over and over. Yeah. Me, oh my God, like one, one day I, I literally could not stop listening it was just over and over and over i think up it's just for happiness i mean come on <laughs> yes oh man don't even get me started and nobody really knows though I asked you about emotions that's really what i was trying to ask is mm. that like to me, that is your, where I'm coming from. You sure, know what I mean? Sure, Emotions. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. Yeah. You see the beginning. You see as you're formulating. You see, yeah. you know? And like you could you tell Steve wasn't thinking. He wasn't thinking yet. He was Not just, thinking. that's what I feel. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing this, you know? Yeah. Whatever you can hear I it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, I am taking away. 
way too much of your time. I know it started <laughs> over. And so it's <laughs> out there, four o'clock. Happiness ain't got to be to have a Oh man, stick <laughs> on my mind was uh, uh, yes, I love you. I'm oh. happier than the morning sun. Oh, oh. That's the way you with me. Oh man, come on, man. That's that is my <laughs> shout out to Ed, who's still my drummer to this day. Ed's been we we started a band when I was 12 and he was 14. He's still my my drummer. But I used to like basically kidnap him because whatever was popular at that time, I was a, kind of a weirdo. But that, I think I was like funny in school because how I would like stay in it. Like people would, you know, I could make them laugh. But like I would kidnap Ed and make him listen to these TV records with me. Like just over and over and I'll go from one to the other. And like it is the fact of me. Yeah. Um, it, it's the foundation used to say, you know, I was trying to sound. I, I was listening to Stevie before I was. Yeah. Um, so when I started to express myself, just started to come out, you know, and it just that's why it made me feel good when Steve knew that. Oh no, he's not trying to copy me. This is literally just a the lineage, you know, yes. like this. This the real. In fact, um, like. But emotions is I used to try not sound like Stevie too much or like not you know what I'm saying that's why I was yeah. guitar and stuff because it was like I don't want anybody to think I'm I'm just trying any yes. other influences that I think aren't yes. the, the it's the main thing it's the the vocal choices and stuff right but there's there's so many things that you just don't hear as as right in front of your face but like yeah. um yeah but but Steve was was a big one obviously yeah but no I I hear it I feel it you know but you but you have made it your own you know you've made mm -hmm. it your own every one of your experiences even your court and that's why mm. they're feeling so emotional like that those are church chords. Those are, those are meant to soften people's hearts to bring them to come down to the altar, like it, the way Ray Charles did. You know, it's, yeah. it's it, it gives like, that that same months, You know, yeah. like I was saying response. to you before, because it's like <laughs> wanting to give his life to Christ or something. You know, <laughs> it's because. Uh, you know, that is literally, that's literally <laughs> biblical though, you know, like, it, it, like gifts, the gifts come without repentance. So it's w whatever you're doing, whatever you choose to do, um, it, sorry, he, 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 the gift's given. So like, yeah. it, he's not, you know, that, that was the lie that, that parents would say, like, if you don't use, he's going to take it away. No, it's, it, it won't actually. <laughs> it actually says in the Bible that he won't take it away. It's just wow. yours, you know. So, mm. Um, mm. so that's gonna come out wherever you wherever you decide to 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 use it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That that wow. that's just that's me. That's just so so. Any more of your time? <laughs> because I can literally talk to you forever. Ever and things, and we love the yep. same things. So it's like, it's like, ah! no, it's Kendra, it's Kendra. Yeah. No, no, it's Kendra for, for real. It's, uh, for real. it's so Kendra. And I knew it from the, from the moment we event, we did the opening of person. That's but what I the real when talking. I met you for the first time. You already, like, right. it was weird. That I was singing at Eric Dawkins' wedding, and I was like, "What in the world?" Yeah, exactly, exactly. That was that was my introduction, uh, and I may have met you that day, but we the shed was when we finally like connected. No, 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 you know? no, no, no! Oh my God, we was it before that day? Yeah, we met. Oh yeah, we definitely met. I don't know how much we really talked, but when I be when we started connection. 
Uh, but I do like for sure. We, we okay, could, this, yeah. this is funny. This is this is like the most it's bougie thing but so i was on my way out the rhapsody um that show yeah, i'm just going anyway but, it was uh, a bunch of us yeah. on the show. it was the opening of the shed which is, which is okay. hard. and you were on i was on my way out to do um, to do sound check for for the late show, and you were on your way out. You were doing sound check for um, the Trevor. Oh yeah, for the uh, for the Daily Show. <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, we were both on on nighttime TV the same day. That's that was fly. That was fly. That it was, was like, kind of fly. I mean, it's a light flex, but I mean, but it was it just. I mean, facts aren't really flexing, right? I mean, it just was what it was. <laughs> that is such that is such a light flex. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yours is like yours is yours was a much stronger flex because you were like oh, no, down no. talking with him. I was just seeing with the band, which was still fun. I love um shout out to my um, New, Orleans, New Orleans boy went to my high school, St. Aug, shout out to John. He's a he's a we throw that word around, but he's a genius and a virtuoso yes. on there, like for real. Yes. Juilliard. But, but it's all started in New Orleans, so there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to be on it this time. I'm going to be on it this time. It's true. So <laughs> it dope. So cute. But, but, okay, you've already been playing at least a little part. Would you be able to do a little bit of first speech again. I'm, I'm, or, sitting, I'm sitting or, here. Or I can't wait. <laughs> uh, well, okay. I want to do, so I, I'll do I that. want I can't wait. You want I can't wait. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I can't wait till I get back to you. All this distance has me missing. All the good times that we used to share, mm -hmm. I took for granted. Petty semantics, yeah. But now I'm seeing everything so clear. Mm -hmm. And all I know is that I want you here. I love this bridge. Just to think all the things you miss. Uh, if we ended like this, it'd be a big regret. Mm -hmm. So I won't waste time. The next time there's a chance, a chance to hold your hand. And Tell you how I feel. Oh, I can't stand as me all the good times that but now I'm seeing everything so clear. And all I know is that I want you here. <laughs> <laughs> no, your fate could never. <laughs> Oh, man, it's love. Thank you, man. So amazing. I'm so glad we're friends. I'm so glad that I got a chance to share this time with you, with, with everybody here with us. You brought so much love and light and wisdom and encouragement to people who are, you know, wanting to do what you're doing and to, to walk in your steps. You're paving the way for, for 
so many of us. So thank you, so man. thank wow. you for the light that you are. Mm. Thank you for just your legacy of music. Thank you for leading with love. love. Um, and I can't wait to see what you're next. You ain't missed yet. You ain't missed. Oh. Thank you for having me, man. I um appreciate you for uh, you know for care, giving a platform to care for care. You know, I think uh, uh, Rico Love always says this to me, but but um the effort is what I think we're missing more than is the effort that came much about it being great. It wasn't about. Yo, I, I just did that. I just cut this song in an hour. Man, I just made this beat in five minutes. It's like, yeah. let's bring the care back. Like, cool. Yes. If that happened, great. I've written songs really quickly. It's, that's that's definitely the exception, not the rule, right? But, like, let's bring back the care. And I think um, it's beautiful that you and, and even your supporters um, care. And, and, like, you know, uh, want, want to understand the process and want to want to appreciate a body of work. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a beautiful thing. I, I, I don't take it for granted. And um, I, I appreciate you, uh, you know, I appreciate Well, everybody tune in tomorrow. Um, check this has a show on YouTube, which is where I'm going to be going after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, my goodness, yeah. we've got an incredible show for the culture. It's an amazing, amazing tribute show. So check him out on that. Check out his new single, um, the one that he just did live, just like that, without thinking, without nothing, y'all. <laughs> just, just come on, let me just say, no mic, no nothing. Um, <laughs> any or anything for you. Um, yeah. As well, something that's inspiring too. I wanted, I'm wanting to to um to create some new music as well so thank you for can't wait can't by. wait and i can't yeah. wait for our song yeah i can't <laughs> wait. yeah come on Donnie <laughs> and there's not too many people can be done it's at the piano and plays you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> word. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. We'll do. We'll do, okay. you, man. All right, okay. peace, y'all. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Oh, I know you guys saw me just getting so excited. <laughs> was so good it's like his music is like soul food it just it just goes down so warm and it just makes you feel good it's like a it's like a hug his music is like a hug so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us um i hope you were moved i hope you were inspired um and so thank you so much for tuning in once again and I want you to do something that makes you smile and makes someone else smile today, okay? Mm -hmm.